Akil Akshepan. Okay. Okay, students. Again, we will see tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Jatadara Educational Technology. Free online coaching for PolySet and TSRJC set. I would like to invite Arun, sir, to start the session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> Let us continue from where we stopped yesterday. In the next we will continue. I will do current electricity today itself. So here we have the, we have the first question. So we have got a lot of questions today. Please cooperate. Please participate. Okay, Which sir. of the following materials does not obey Ohm's law? Silver, copper, iron, silicon. Which of the following materials does not obey Ohm's law? Okay, I'm getting consistent response. Answers are pouring in. Good, good, good. All right, I'll go for the key. Four is absolutely right, students. Silicon, it's a semiconductor. Yes, students, everyone is right this time. Everyone is right, absolutely right. Let's go for the next one. Here's a numerical. Find the effective resistance of the combination between A and B. So between the terminals A and B, two, you have got 2 ohm and 8 ohm in series, 6 ohm and 14 ohm in series. These two again are in parallel. Effective combination covered, effective resistance covered. Please use pen and paper, students. You cannot do this orally. Take a minute. And don't depend on memory, students. Use pen and paper, please. Hmm. Okay, Hartik says three, Anuradha says three, Tarani says three, Ashwin says three, Khalifa says three, Let me, Raviteja says three. Okay, let's look at this. 20 and 10. No students, I don't think three is right. 10 ohms is not right. He is talking about effective resistance between A and B, terminals A and B. Two series combinations only or a parallel combination with the students? Yes, now I'm getting right answers. Sai Charan, Jessica. Okay, let's look at the answer. Absolutely right, students. Jessica, Sai Charan. Others, again, went wrong in calculation. 1 by R, Adi, 1 by R is equal to 3 by 20 of R is 20 by 3. All right, you applied the formula right, but you went wrong in calculation, students. Careful, Undari. Please, Nesh Kondi, Tapu Pote, Nesh Call students. It's absolutely okay. I'm telling you again, confidence build up about Undi. But attempt change, correct chase code. Tapu Pote, correct chase code. That's okay. Let's look at the next one. A wire having 10 ohm resistance is cut into four parts, each of equal length. The resistance of each part of the wire is how many ohms? Dash ohms. A wire having 10 ohm resistance is cut into four parts, each of equal length. So resistance of each part of the wire is dash ohms. Okay, good. Consistent answer. But I want everyone to answer students. Students are still joining. Please join faster and take part in the practice session. This is just a practice session, students. Don't hesitate to commit a mistake. Mistakes commit just any mistakes correct either students. Yes, exactly. Everyone is absolutely right. Please absolutely right, students. Everyone is absolutely right. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go for the next one. Okay, here is the explanation. Total resistance of the wire is 10 ohms. After dividing into four parts, 10 by 4, which is 2.5. All right, let's go for the next one. The resistance of the conductor depends on length, cross-sectional area, temperature, all the above. Okay, I'm getting consistent response again. Aha, uh -huh, I got a wrong answer as well. I got one wrong answer. That's okay. Correct. You can correct yourself. I'll release the key. You can correct yourself. One on each pair, one tapu students. You have all the above also as an option. So be careful. It depends on length, 
cross sectional area and temperature so the option the right option is all the above all right yes except two or three students everyone has gone right a two or three students correct yes only students i don't want to name them so uh, three answers yes sir one answer yes sir at the top correct yes only students all right let's go to the next one here is a junction law students a problem on junction law applying kirchhoff of current law to junction c the value of y minus x is equal to dash amperes so here is junction c incoming currents are 6 amperes 8 amperes and x amperes outgoing currents are y 2 and 4 amperes all you have to find is y minus x use pen and paper students write incoming currents is equal to outgoing currents you will get the equation lhs you will have x rhs you will have y all you require is y minus x okay 3318 that is 3 guys this is 8 okay okay sai charan sandhya gayatri redmi pavani ashwin sai charan has already ventured murli tarudi rineshwari jashwant akshaya salma harish anish khalifa yashvika monika lahari rakesh shrija veda mallesh all right let's look at the key students it's absolutely right eight is absolutely right students how do we get that i i write 6 plus x plus 8 is equal to 2 plus 4 plus y so x plus 14 is equal to y plus 6 so y minus x is equal to 14 minus 6 which is 8 Let's go to the next one. Two resistors are connected in dash. Then same current flows through the two resistors. Is it series, parallel, series and parallel? None of the above. Ella connect just the current flow is same through the two resistors. Series connect just the no parallel connect just the. Okay, mixed response again. Confusion between one and two. Parallel connection is same, but the potential difference remains same between the two terminals. If I have got two 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 elements in parallel, potential difference remains same between the two terminals with both the both the elements. Series connection is same, but the current through one is same as current through two. Series is absolutely right, students. One is absolutely right. When the mandi tapu tapu ka hai ro, absolutely okay. Then correct choice column is important, students. So this this question is. Fundamental question. We have series definition. Tell us the correct of choice. Sunday. Can you series definition? No, we confusion. Sunday. It is tapu endi. So, my correct choice call should. This is very important question. Concept wise, is very important question. Please correct yourself. Let's go to the next one. Three resistors, two ohms, three ohms, and R ohms are connected in series to a battery of twenty volts. If the current through the circuit is one ampere, then the value of R is dash ohms. So, which law do you apply? They are connected in series. So, what is the effective resistance? Use pen and paper, students. Use pen and paper. I'll give you fifteen seconds. Okay, let's to get the key. Key is fifteen. Fifteen students. Three is absolutely right. Five is wrong. A one is wrong. Students. Veda is right. Almost everyone is right, but there are students who have gone wrong. Please correct yourself. It is not two. It is not one. It is three students. Let's look at the solution. I'll apply Ohm's law for this one. V is equal to I R. So I is equal to V by R equivalent. R equivalent is they are in series combination. So two plus three plus R is equal to five plus R. So I is equal to twenty by five plus R. I given is one ampere. So one is equal to twenty by five plus R. 
फाइव प्लस आर एस ट्वेंटी आर एस ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव विच इज फिफ्टीन ऑक्स All right. So we have applied two concepts here. One is series combination, which says equivalent resistance is two plus three plus R. The other concept is Ohm's law, V is equal to I R. All right. Those who have gone wrong, is it okay? Type okay in the chat box. The ones who have gone wrong. All right. All right. Good. So you should correct yourself. I appreciate. I appreciate. Let's go for the next one. Okay. Here you have got again junction law. You have to find out I three, I one, I two, I three, I four, I four. If I have given out of which four are given, I three is to be required. Uh, found out. I three is required. So you apply Kirchhoff's junction law again. Current law. And tell me the answer. Use pen and paper again. Okay. Okay, I'm getting answers. All right. So let's look at the equation. How will the equation be? Incoming current is equal to outgoing current. So incoming current is two amperes plus ten amperes. Outgoing current is six and one. Excellent. I'm getting consistent response, which is two. Let's look at the key. Two is absolutely right, students. I really appreciate. Yes, Sai Chiran has given the complete equation. Good, excellent. Yes, Anuradha says twenty-two thousand two hundred twenty-two, which is two 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 two, which is absolutely right. Yes, everyone is absolutely right. So it's good, excellent, excellent. Here is the equation. But as you are all right, I would like to skip the solution part. Let's go for the next one. The graph between potential difference and current for an ion spoke at constant temperature gives a straight line parallel to x-axis, a straight line parallel to y-axis, straight line passing through origin, a curved line. Ion spoke is a ohmic conductor. For a ohmic conductor, current along y-axis and potential difference along x-axis. Aha, uh -huh, mixed response again. Almost everyone is answering three, but I'm getting other answer, other answers as well. Okay, two, Jashwant. Okay, Saicharan has given the complete statement. Good. I appreciate each and every one of you, except couple of students. I would appreciate if you correct yourself, but I appreciate for attempting. Very good students, you are attempting, making an attempt, making an effort, putting effort. But the most important part now is after committing a mistake, correcting the mistake is the most important part of the learning. Let's look at the key. It's straight line passing through origin. At constant temperature, current flowing through a resistor is directly proportional to the potential difference across it. So the graph between B and I at constant temperature is a straight line passing through origin. So it's Ohm's law. So it's ohmic conductor. I spoke of the ohmic conductor. So it, it is definitely not a curved line. Straight line parallel to x-axis and y-axis are ruled out. All right, let's look at the next one. Ah, here is an interesting question, students. Resistance of a conductor in which V and I values are shown in the below graph is. Resistance of a conductor where V and I are shown. So I use Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. R is equal to V by I, delta V by I. So from the graph, how do I go get it? Oh, I got so many responses. 
Almost everyone has answered. Good. I got 60 responses. Good students. Excellent. Still getting responses. All right. Okay. So what's the answer you're getting? Okay. 60 notes is one answer. Option two, option one, option one. Let's see. Let's get the key. Option one is absolutely right, students. Option one is absolutely right. Dinto Kontamandi Tapu Poyaru. Yes, Sarvesh, excellent. 20 by 4. Sarvesh, I really appreciate your uh, uh, knowledge and effort and questions. The questions you are putting in the WhatsApp, I really appreciate. The Jet CS really appreciates you, Sarvesh. Very good. Your performance is good. Your effort is good. Everything is appreciable. Good, Sarvesh. You are putting good questions. In the WhatsApp uh, chat. All right, let's look at the key solution students. R is equal to V by I, which is Ohm's law, is equal to 20 by 4, which is 5 ohms. Right from the graph, if you see 20 horizontal line passing through 20 intersects the graph at this point. Here, the vertical line intersects the x axis at 4. If you know how to find the slope of a line, slope of a line is nothing but the resistance over here for a line passing through origin. All right, let's look at the next one. Almost everyone has gone right in this one, but no, equally, equally, equal number of students have gone wrong in this one. Please correct yourself. Not almost, equal number of students have gone wrong. Chalamanti Tapukuru Chaparu, correct chase for the students. All right, it's a, a pretty simple question, but an interesting question. Graph, graph, which means data, data, data. Usually numerical, which is but graph, which is graph interpretation, data. It's a good question. Let's look at the next one. All right, continuation of the same question. From this graph, from the same graph as above, the value of express y in the above graph is. So I want express y. Little tricky, but make an attempt. Use pen and paper, students. Use pen and paper. It's a logical question. It's a good question. So what is the value of x? Mention the value of x, students. What is the value of x? In the chat box, what is the value of x? Yes, Sai Charan is absolutely right. Sai Charan is right. Okay. I'm just asking the value of x, students. Yes, Ravi Teja. Excellent. Excellent. What is the value of y? Sai Chiran, excellent. Yes, Rishikesh, excellent. Ravi Teja is right. Sunil is right. All right. Now all you have to do is express y. You got the value of x and y. Yes, Rakesh, excellent. Sarvesh. Sarvesh, what's the value of x and y is what I'm asking. Just mention the value of x. Just mention the value of y. Yes, Harshita, excellent. Beautiful. Sai, Sai Vardhan. Good, good. I'm, I'm getting answers beautifully. Effort is really good, appreciable. All right, let's look at the key. It's 25 students. So, but it's volts. Look at this. The units are volts, not ohms. So, y axis is volts. So, that's why x is in volts, y is in volts. 15 plus 25, sorry, 15 plus 10 is in 25, 25 volts. Yes, Larry, excellent. Sri Varsha, excellent. Yes, Anand, Sarvesh, everyone has given me the right answer, are interacting well. Very good. Let's look at the solution. At x, v is equal to 15, 15 volts. At y, v is equal to 10 volts. Express y is 15 plus 10, which is 25 volts. All right. This, I felt, is a good question. Let's go for the next one. Joule per coulomb is same as one watt, one volt, one ampere, one ohm. Units based question, students. Units put on time you go, or just the day. Joule per coulomb. Work done per unit charge. Okay. 
Hold on a second. Obviously, you have a confusion. That's okay. Let's go. So, confusion enough to mention attempt and change. Attempt change. Change. I'm really appreciating for that. Let's look at the key. It is one word. All right. Let's go for the next one. The current in the wire depends on only on the potential difference applied, only on the resistance of the wire, on both of them, none of them. Okay. Most everyone has given me three, but let me see if anyone has given me a wrong answer. Okay, none of them. None of none of you have given me a wrong answer. Excellent students. Under correct chapter. Let's look at the key. It's absolutely right. On both potential difference and resistance. Yes, I said it. Excellent. All right, let's look at the next one. Oh, here is a lengthy question. <coughs> Consider the following statements. In series connection, the same current flows through each element. In parallel connection, same potential difference gets applied across each element. So you have to remember the definitions of series and parallel. So both A and B are correct. A is correct, but B is wrong. A is wrong, but B is correct. Both A and B are wrong. Okay, consistent response again. But I want everyone to answer students. I'm getting around. Uh, 50 answers as of now. I want more answers. I want everyone to answer. Excellent. Not even one. Okay, hold on a second. Agnivesh has a confusion between one and two. Okay, so let's look at the definition of series in parallel, Agnivesh. Series frame of the when you have two elements like this, they are in series, same current flow. Whatever current enters this element, same current enters this element. So they are in series, same current flow. But if they are in parallel like this, parallel, potential difference across this element is same as potential difference across this element. That's the definition of parallel. So both A and B are correct. Let's look at the key. So yes, both A and B are correct. One is absolutely right. So the ones who have confusion, correct yourself. Nate Kondi students. Agnivesh, is it okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Good. So which of the following is correct in case of potential difference? Work per unit charge, work times charge, charge per unit work, both A and B. Okay, consistent response again. One, 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 one. Not even one has gone wrong. Excellent students, performances. Beautifully excellent. I'll show the key. It's one. One is absolutely right, students. Hanish, what is zero? Okay, let's look at the key. Key is one, absolutely right. So everyone has gone right. Let's go for the next one. The device used for measuring current and potential difference values is ammeter, voltmeter, millimeter, odometer. used to measure current and potential difference values. Okay, mixed response this time. All right. All right, volt meter, two, three, four. Okay, let's look at the key. It's voltmeter students.
think we should come back to this one. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's come back to this again. A uniform wire of resistance 50 ohms is cut into five equal parts. These parts are now connected in parallel. Then the equal resistance of the combination is first uniform wire 50 ohms each body, five parts CSRO. Uh, each part is parallel one at CSRO. So each part in the, and how many ohms is each part? How many ohms is each part? Just mention that one. Just try to answer the question which I'm asking. I don't know the answer, students. I just want how many ohms is each part? Five equal parts per ohm together. Yes, Akil says 10. Jessica says 10 ohms, right? Excellent. I'm not asking the option, students. I'm just asking 50 ohms, the five equal parts, and the other part is the other 50 ohms by 5, 10 ohms, right? Now that is connected in parallel. Yes, one part is 10 ohms, Sandhya, excellent. Okay, all right, all right, you all got the point. 10 ohms is right, each part is 10 ohms. Now that, that such 5, 10 ohms are connected in parallel. If you have R N resistors, identical resistors connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is R by N. Right? So you've got five resistors, each of 10 ohms. So equivalent resistance will be R by N, which is 10 by 5, 2. 2 ohms. 2 ohms is the right, right answer, students. Excellent. One is absolutely right, students. Good. Yes, sir, Vesh. Excellent. Your answer is absolutely right. Each part is 10 ohms. And the answer is 2 ohms. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Now listen to the question again. I'll repeat this in 30 seconds. 50 ohms resistance on the wire on the Naki 5 parts purchase chase arrow. Each part about 50 by 5 into the 10 ohms into each part. Now I've got identical 10 ohms, 5 resistors in there. Identical. 10 ohms, each one 10 ohms. When I have N resistors, each of R resistors, R ohms, my equal resistance is R by N. So I've got 5 identical resistors, each of 10 ohms. So 10 by 5 is 2 ohms. So equal resistance is 2 ohms. Is it okay, Manish? If, if you still want it to be repeated, you please go to YouTube channel. You can visit it. Visit the same whole lecture again. All right, whole session in Mali Vinod Chakra. I'll go for the next one now. Is it okay, Malesh? The 50 ohm resistors is actually cut into five parts. I got 10 ohms. That 10 ohms is again connected in parallel. I got 2 ohms. All right, let's go for the next one, students. Work done in moving a unit positive charge across two points in electric circuit is measure of current, potential difference, resistance, power. Definition of work done, students. Definition of potential difference. Sorry, definition of potential difference. Uh -huh. One student has gone wrong. Two students have gone wrong. All right, I'm getting a consistent response except two students have gone out. So I release the key. Look at the key students. Two is absolutely right. Potential difference is absolutely right. But two students have gone wrong. Correct chase 40 students. It is not four, it is two. Potential difference. Potential difference is nothing but work done in uni, moving a unit positive charge across two points in an electric circuit. All right, let's go to the next one. The potential at a point is 10 volts. The work done in bringing a charge of two coulomb from infinity to this point will be. 
పొటిషన్ ఇచ్చారు వాగ్డౌన్ ఆడుతున్నారు పీడి ఈస్ పొటెన్షియల్ డిఫరెన్స్ స్టూడెంట్స్ పీడి ఈస్ పొటెన్షియల్ డిఫరెన్స్ పీడి ఈస్ షార్ట్ ఫార్మ్ ఫర్ పొటెన్షియల్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఓకే సో వాట్ ఇస్ వర్క్ డన్ వర్క్ డన్ ఇన్ బ్రింగింగ్ టూ కులూమ్ చార్జ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇన్ఫినిటీ టు దిస్ పాయింట్ టూస్ పొటెన్షియల్ ఇస్ టెన్ వర్డ్స్ ఆల్ రైట్ లెట్స్ గు ద కీ absolutely right should is one is absolutely right konta mandi three chepparu five years kaadu you are not supposed to divide 10 by 2 it is 10 times two students potential is work done per unit charge so work done by 2 is equal to 10 so what is 10 into 2 20 joules J is joules. Saivardhan, J is joules students. Joules, unit of work done. Unit of work is joules. Saivardhan, J is joules. Let's go for the next one. C is coulomb. That is supposed to be capital C, but C is coulomb. Unit for charge. B is volt. C is coulomb. J is joules. Right. Here's the next one, students. A steady current of 0.4 milliampere flows through a wire. How much charge passes through the wire in one minute? Current is charo, time is charo, charge are thunar. W is what? C is coulomb, J is joules, PD is potential difference. These are all, if you once read the textbook, students, it becomes very clear. ఒకసారి టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ చదవండి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓకే లుక్ ఇట్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ యూ గోట్ కరెంట్ అండ్ టైమ్ బట్ ఇస్ కరెంట్ చార్జ్ పర్సన్ త్రూ క్రాస్ సెక్షన్ ఇన్ యూనిట్ టైమ్ ఫోర్ ఇస్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ రైట్ కొంతమంది వన్ కూడా చెప్పారు క్యాలిక్యులేషన్ తప్పు తప్పు పోవటం అలా ఉంది ఒకసారి చూడండి స్టూడెంట్స్ త్రీ కూడా ఆన్సర్ వస్తుంది దట్స్ వాట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇస్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ జస్ట్ డెస్మల్ ప్లేస్ షిఫ్టెడ్ సో క్యాలిక్యులేషన్ జాగ్రత్తగా చూడాలి ప్రశ్న సొల్యూషన్ ఐ గోట్ క్యూ ఈ గుడ్ ఐ టైమ్స్ టీ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ ఇంటూ టెన్ పవర్ మైనస్ త్రీ రైట్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ మిలియన్ ఆంపియర్స్ మిలియన్ ఆంపియర్ మీన్స్ టెన్ పవర్ మైనస్ త్రీ ఆంపియర్స్ టైమ్స్ సిక్స్టీ వన్ మినిట్ 1 minute is 60 seconds is 0.024 coulomb all right let's go to the next one what are is the unit of electric power electric energy potential difference electric current what are is a unit of electric power electric energy potential difference electric current what is for power but what is the unit for what are what are let's look at the key students it's electrical energy all right Let's go to the next one. Yeah, almost everyone is correct. But here, few of you students have answered one. One is wrong, students. Correct, yes, Koti. All right. It's okay to be wrong, but right, you're wrong. Let's go to the next one. In series combination of resistors, potential difference remains constant. Current remains constant throughout the combination. Current changes through the circuit. Nothing can be said. Series combination definition students, one day. So understanding of series concept. Current remains constant throughout the combination. Potential difference remains constant. Okay, mixed response now. 
Let's look at the solution solution. Let's look at the three. P is absolute right student. Two is two is absolutely right. Two is right students. I got a mixed response for this one. Two and three were the confusion. Yes, current remains same. Scythe and it's right. Scythe is two, right? All right, let's go to the next one. See, the whole idea behind the practice session is attempt, commit a mistake, learn from the mistake, be prepared for the exam. All right, like a warrior. That's the whole idea behind the practice session students. One milliampere side channel is 10 power minus 3 amperes. Billy Gada, one milli is 10 power minus 3. Look at the question, students. In an electric circuit, ammeter is always connected in series, parallel, either way. Series sometimes and is parallel depending on the nature of the circuit. That is absurd. Ammeter is always connected in. Excellent. Consistent response. Okay, one wrong answer, two wrong answers, three wrong answers, four wrong answers. Uh -huh. That's what I'm telling you. The whole idea behind the practice session is attempt, commit a mistake, that's okay. Correct your mistake. Four, five students, tapu ko aero, correct yes ko aero. It's series. Ammeter is always connected in series students. No matter what the circuit is, ammeter functioning is series to open them. It's designed to work in series. All right. Let's look at the next one. All right. In current electricity, the particles moving are photons, electrons, protons, neutrons. So what is it which is moving? Okay, Tanuni, right. Consistent response again. No, I got a wrong answer. Vishwanath has a confusion. That's okay. Learn, it, learn from this mistake. Mm -hmm. two, 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 one. One. It cannot be one, students. Okay, look at the key. Two is absolutely right, students. Yes, Sarvesh, excellent. Electrons can only move. Excellent. Let's go for the next one. The ones who have gone wrong, Please mark and correct yourself. Okay, don't forget to correct. That's very important. That's the whole idea behind the session students. They were the waste tape of me, effort in the waste tape of them. An electric heater uses 5 amperes when connected across 220 volts. Determine its resistance. Use pen and paper, please. Don't go wrong in simple division. You know what to apply, which law to apply. Okay. Which law do you apply, students? Yes, excellent. Harshita, excellent. Vishwanath, excellent. Yeah, I'm getting consistent response. But these two students have given me a detailed answer. Good. Yes, I said it. Excellent. Ohm's law is applied. Let's look at the key. 44 ohms. Excellent. 4 is absolutely right, students. As for Ohm's law, V is equal to IR or R is equal to V by I. I've got 22, 220, sorry, 220 by 5, which is 44. 44 ohms. Simple. Look at this one. A wire of resistance R is cut into n equal parts and is twisted together to make it a single wire, calculate the resistance of the resulting wire. Ah, look at this. I've got R, it is connected to N equal parts. Now each one is twisted to make it a single wire. 
I want the equivalent resistance of this resulting wire. Chinna chinna part ni dis pone, it adverse che saru. So there are n such form n identical resistors now in parallel. I had one resistor. I cut into n equal parts. I took each one. I clubbed and twisted the wires ends to make n identical resistors in parallel. Okay, consistent response again. Pavani has a confusion. That's okay. Confusion in a while. Attempt in a chase to narrow. That's appreciable. Tapu Pote, absolutely not a problem, students. I'm really appreciating. I'm really enjoying uh, being with you all. All right, let's look at the key. Keys are by n square students. Four is absolutely right. Let's look at the solution. Okay, solution isn't given. All right, I'll explain it to you. R on the other. R ni cut chest in Abu. Each one R by N or something. Each one will be R by N. Do you agree with that? When I cut R into N equal parts, each part will have R by N. Ashwik, do you agree with that? The ones who have gone wrong, agree with that? R by N. N is number of number of Number of divisions you have, you have cut, number of cuts you have, uh, number of parts you have done. R of a resistor with these pony, n equal parts of this, R by n is what is? Students, please stop interacting with yourself, between amongst yourself. Don't do that. This is for your good. Please focus on the lesson. Please focus on this session. And direct your answers to me, Jet Arun. All right, let's look at the next one, students. Yeah, Jessica, yes, your doubt is absolutely right. So once we get R by N, Oka Oka R by N in these four Indian parallel the connect is N. Oka R by N, Eko Ka R by N, Eko Ka R by N, Eko Ka R by N, N number ni parallel connect is N. When you connect N resistors in parallel, your resistance will be equal to resistance to R by N. So R by N by N. R by N is each identical resistor by N because they are in parallel. All right. So let's say you get R by N square. Is it okay, Jessica? All right. Good. Okay. Uh, please focus over here. Send your answers to Jet Aaron. Do not interact with others. Yeah, Jessica, it is mentioned this way. The question says like this. The wire uh, are twisted together to make it single wire. Okay, they are twisted together to make it a single wire. Calculate the resistance of the resulting wire. So that's what it means. When he says their parts are twisted together, that's what it means. But they are connected in parallel. Okay, that's to be understood. All right, let's go to the next one, students. If it is in series, you again get the same thing, R. We'll come back to this again in another session, should you please post your doubts in the WhatsApp number 9642215227 or 15226. I can post your doubts. We'll design a session to answer your doubts. All right, please post your doubts to that number. To the WhatsApp number 964221527. Here is the next question. How many 160 ohm resistors should be kept in parallel to carry 5 amperes in circuit with a 200 volt battery? How many 160 ohm resistors should be kept in parallel to carry 5 ampere in circuit with a 200 volt battery? Parallel and tuner. Use pen and paper students. Pretty tricky question. It's quite tricky. Pawansa, you please post your doubt to the WhatsApp number. We'll get back to you. All right. 
Okay, Sarvesh, we'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, whatever doubts you have put, Sarvesh, we'll get back to that. Don't worry. We still have time. We'll get back to that. That's okay, students. If you're done, you're feeling a little tricky. That's okay. You posted doubt. We'll get back to that. We'll design a new session to answer your doubts only. But right now, let's continue with the session. Attempt this question, please. Okay, option two. Ashwik says one. Onsai says two. Gayatri says two. Monica says two. Gayatri says four. Change the question. Okay. Jessica says two. Let's look at the key. Two is absolutely right. Absolutely right, students. Excellent. Let's go to the next one. Ohm's law is valid for gaseous conductors, metal conductors, semiconductors, insulators. Okay, confusion, P3 and 4, that's okay. Huh. Metal conductors, 2, 2, 2, semiconductors. Sandhya, Sabi says semiconductors. Okay. Let's look at the key. Metal conductor students. All right. Ohmic conductors are metal conductors are ohmic conductors. Students, if at all we find that you're disturbing others or interacting with others, we'll put you in the waiting room. You will lose the session, students. All right. Don't do, don't miss the opportunity. In the Manji opportunity is to not make Utilize the opportunity. Don't do not disturb others. And do not interact with others. We are here to interact with you. So you interact just with the teacher, not with anyone else. All right? Please focus on the session. Yes, sir, it's excellent. You're right. All right, let's go for the next one. Which of the following is used to prevent damages during, due to overloading of the overloading to the household circuit? Switch, fuse, resistance, semiconductor. All right, good. Consistent response. I'm looking for any wrong answer. No wrong answer as yet. Excellent student. Fuse is absolutely right. Uh -huh. One has gone wrong. It is not one student. It is not three. Student, it is not three. Please correct yourself. It is few students, two. No, it's not resistance. It's fuse. Students, just to remind you all, uh, career guidance session or resistor chase body, that's one of a kind. Are the opportunity to miss Are the opportunity to make a guidance help out on So we are we are here to guide you throughout your intermediate session. In fact, you will get a wide outlook of your career. Once you once career outlook goes on the resistor chase body career guidance session now. Now I request Chandrika ma'am to take over, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Yes, students. Now, I have a short information for you. A small information I have for you. <clears throat> so, I am first day and I am going to that we are having a career guidance session. Yes. So career guidance session undan chapesi first year nunchi chaptunamu and then ki form kuda group lo pumpistunamu to register. Yes, one second students. Yes. So then ki form kuda pumpicham group lo kontamandi register ayaru kontamandi register abaledu. I request please each and every student to register. Okay, Pratya Okaru register Avandi. And the career guidance sessions will be taken by CEOs of various industries, doctors, defense personnel, scientists, professors, software engineers, chartered accountants, etc. So link will be shared only to the registered students. Register at the earliest. So we could link and the pump is pump it. So our link lo ever at the register out our career guidance session ever at the register out our 
వాళ్ళకి మాత్రమే దీని డీటెయిల్స్ అనేవి సెండ్ చేస్తాము అండ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది స్పీకర్ ఈజ్ భరణి కుమార్ దేరేపు ఈజ్ ద డైరెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఇనోడేటిక్స్ యుఎస్ఏ అండ్ ఆల్సో డైరెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ డిజి టిఎంజి హీఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఆలమ్ని ఆఫ్ ఐఐటి అండ్ ఐఎస్బి సో ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది స్పీకర్ అండ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ హీ సో మెనీ స్పీకర్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు జాయిన్ అండ్ గైడ్ యూ ఫర్ యువర్ కెరియర్ అండ్ ఇయర్స్ రైట్ అండ్ సో చాలా మంది దీన్ని దీన్ని ఈ సెషన్స్ వినడానికి మనీ పే చేసి వింటారు కానీ వీఆర్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ యూ ఎట్ ఫ్రీ ఆఫ్ కాస్ట్ సో ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ యూ టు యూటిలైజ్ దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ఫ్రీ ఆఫ్ కాస్ట్ ఉంది కాబట్టి ఆపర్చునిటీని యూటిలైజ్ చేసుకోండి చాలా మంది డబ్బులు పెట్టి వినాల్సిన సిచ్యువేషన్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో మీకు ఫ్రీ ఆఫ్ కాస్ట్ ఉంది కాబట్టి ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ యూ టు రిజిస్టర్ అండ్ రిజిస్టర్ యాజ్ సూన్ యాజ్ పాసిబుల్ ఓన్లీ ద రిజిస్టర్డ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ విల్ బి గెటింగ్ ది లింక్స్ సో చాలా మంది కెరియర్ గైడెన్స్ ఫామ్ లో కొంతమంది రిజిస్టర్ అయిన వాళ్ళలో కెరియర్ లో ఏం చూస్ చేసుకుంటున్నారు అనేది ఎవరు ఆన్సర్ చేయలేదు రైట్ సో అందుకోసం మీకోసం ఒక క్లారిటీ రావాలి మీకు కూడా ఒక క్లారిటీ రావాలి ఏ కెరియర్ చూస్ చేసుకోవాలి ఏంటి అని చెప్పి అందుకోసమే ఈ కెరియర్ గైడెన్స్ సెషన్ అనేది మా ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ నుంచి మేము ఫ్రీగా మీకు ఇస్తున్నాము సో ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ టు యూటిలైజ్ దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ అండ్ ఆల్సో ప్లీజ్ షేర్ ది కెరియర్ గైడెన్స్ ఫామ్ లింక్ కెరియర్ గైడెన్స్ ఫామ్ లింక్ ఏదైతే ఉందో అది మీ స్కూల్ వాట్సాప్ గ్రూప్స్ లో కూడా ఫార్వర్డ్ చేయండి మీ టెన్త్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఎవరెవరైతే ఉన్నారో వాళ్ళందరికీ ఫార్వర్డ్ చేయండి సో దాట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి హెల్ప్ఫుల్ ఫర్ మెనీ స్టూడెంట్స్ రైట్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ కమింగ్ టు ది టాపర్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ టెస్ట్ ఎయిట్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఫస్ట్ టాపర్ ఇస్ అన్విత జయ అన్విత్య జయశంకర్ భూపాలపల్లి హండ్రెడ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ వేదశ్రీ జగిత్యాల్ నైంటీ ఎయిట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ రేవుల క్రిష్ యాదాద్రి భువన్గిరి నైంటీ సెవెన్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఎం అక్షయ సిద్దిపేట్ నైంటీ ఫైవ్ నైంటీ ఫోర్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఎస్ విజయ్ నిజామాబాద్ నైంటీ త్రీ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఎయిటీ ఎయిట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఎం మనోహర్ వనపర్తి డిస్టిక్ సాయి చరణ్ కొమరం భీమ్ కొమరం భీమ్ డిస్టిక్ ఎయిటీ సిక్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ భాను త్రియా జనగాం ఎయిటీ త్రీ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ భాను తేజ సిద్దిపేట్ ఎయిటీ త్రీ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ సర్వేష్ సిద్దిపేట్ సెవెంటీ నైన్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ లక్ష్మీ శ్రావణి రంగారెడ్డి సెవెంటీ నైన్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ సో కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ టు ఆల్ ది టాపర్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ టెస్ట్ ఎయిట్ కీప్ గోయింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ ఆల్సో డోంట్ ఫర్గెట్ టు ఫిల్ ది కెరియర్ గైడెన్స్ ఫామ్ టు అటెండ్ ది సెషన్స్ ఫిల్ చేసిన వాళ్ళకి మాత్రమే లింక్ అనేది వస్తుంది ఐఎమ్ రిమెంబరింగ్ యూ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ అండ్ నౌ ఐ వుడ్ రిక్వెస్ట్ గాయత్రి మేడం టు కంటిన్యూ ద సెషన్ yes ma'am thank you ma'am good evening children thank you uh, good evening students good evening ma'am my voice is audible yes ma'am it is audible all right i'm just sharing the screen yes very good evening students to you all so today in english we'll be seeing the synonyms and the antonyms very important uh, uh, section in this you need to know about the synonyms synonyms means meanings and antonyms means opposites all right so before we start with quickly take a notebook a pen or a pencil so you you should be ready with that so that we can uh, proceed with the synonyms and antonyms and any any uh, words which you find very tough so quickly just note down all right yes so the first word is proficient so you need to give me the synonym of this all right so being the first word uh, let me explain you that synonym is synonym means meaning so what is proficient so when the options are given you need to know each and every option meaning isn't it so like adept is some uh, it means skillful you are very uh, skilled in one particular uh, profession okay pupil is the child in a school the ch a child is called as a pupil reliable means what you rely okay prominent is something per, uh, very famous personality so here so then what would be the meaning of the word proficient it means skillful yes so uh, for example this person is very much proficient in playing veena means he is uh, very skillful in using the instrument all right 
yes quickly let's move on to the next question next uh, word here you need to find out the synonym admonish so four options are given irritate chide displease annoy all right give me your answers in the chat box so that uh, okay sai vardhan saini many says it is option 1 all right let's see which is the right answer it is chide means scold all right yes and i want everybody to answer students because even english carries equal marks and uh, these questions are very easy you know where you can really score marks all right with this let's move on to the next question adversity quickly find out the meaning of this very simple seniority familiarity spirituality misery yes let me see how many are giving me the answers many says two one say three sai charan says four all right so supposing you want you can also refer the dictionary and then you can come back to the meaning very quickly yes it should be misery let's see yes it is misery all right yes see the next word revel so uh, four options are given you need to give me the synonym of it all right so you need to give me the meaning of it so make merry glory reveal revert so very simple words something which is very tough alone i have uh, noted down the meaning so that i can explain you all right so uh, make merry reveal revert glory let me see how many are going to give me the answers many taruni sarvesh sai vardhan sampat sai charan antony all right many are giving me a different different meaning let's see the answer it is it should be make merry all right yes see the next word brutal you would have seen in the movie you know it was a brutal uh, killing right so now here you need to give me the synonym so humane means showing kindness quickly note down students so that uh, if this question comes you can quickly understand it then you can uh, immediately choose the correct answer humane means showing kindness savage means being very cruel all right sympathetic means showing sympathy sympathy compassionate means uh, that also same means the same sympathy or showing kindness all right yes now you can give me the meaning very easily let me see how many are going to give me the right answer yes 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 perfect many are giving me option 2 which is which should be the right answer let's see it is excellent students all of you almost everybody has given me the right answer let's move on to the next question stroll stroll four options are given trot gallop walk and jog all right so i don't think any explanation is required for this quickly give me the answers go through give me the answer okay many says option 2 okay 2 2 2 2 okay all right i don't think it is to let's see stroll is something like you know you go through walk isn't it yes it is walk like uh, you know we take the baby uh, into this uh, small uh, uh, bike like and you take a you stroll it all right so you call it as a stroller isn't it yes see the next question eternal the first option is temporary second option is short term third one is time being fourth one is forever yes so this word is also very common that we we use it often all right so give me the answer many says option 4 one say it's literally running so i'm not able to read your names all right so let's see let's see but many says option 4 it should be right right so we say no uh, it is an eternal means permanent yes forever perfect good see the next question eloquent so four options fluent ignorant rude significant yes all four words are very simple i don't think any explanation is re uh, required regarding this 
Let me see how many are going to give me the answer. Taruni, Saivardhan, Anthony. Okay. Eloquent, Sarvesh, Sai Charan. Good. I think Sai Charan is right. See, when, you know, when a person speaks uh, in an open forum, especially in a, a foreign language, say, for example, English. So he is very uh, communicating. He is uh, expressing it very clearly and he is not getting struck. So he speaks fluently. So don't we say that he is speaking, there's an eloquent in his uh, speech, isn't it? So what do you mean by that? It is, he is very much fluent, isn't it? Yes. So the answer should be fluent. All right, see the next question. Judicious. Four options, hasty, reckless, irrational, wise. All right. So I can give you a sentence so that you can quickly choose. Make a judicious decision. All right. So make a judicious decision. Now I think with this you must be able to give me the answer. Yes, yes, yes. Many wise. Good, good, good. Many, many are giving me the option four, which should be right. Yes. So make a wise decision. Perfect. Very good. See the next question. Cusent. So you have four options. Dull, questionable, bright, alive. Uh, I can say something which is not clear. Okay. So now you will be able to give me the answer which is not clear. Now they are asking you the synonym. Yes, Rishikesh is right. Sopna is right. Gayatri is right. Perfect. All right. See, you should always know what is a question. They are asking you the synonym. So it is something dull, which is not bright. All right. Yes. See the next question. Turbulence. So agitation. Calmness, repose, stillness. Agitation means, you know, you become very angry. You provoke somebody. You, you uh, make him, kindle him. Yes, so it's an opposite of calmness. Right, next is stillness. Then repose. Now I'm sure you must be able to give me the answer. Let's see. It is agitation. All right, so the next question. Actuate. Is it true? Is it select? Is it move? Is it kill? Very simple word. All right. All right. Let's see how many are giving. Going to give me the answer. Faisal, Sai Charan, Swapna, Sai Vardhan. I think Sai Vardhan is right. Jessica should be right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So what do you mean by actuate? Means move. All right. See the next question, lucrative. The meaning of lucrative is something useful. Yes, so you should be lucrative to the society. Right, so I've given you the uh, meaning. So with this, I think four options. Uh, impoverished, impoverished, worthwhile, useless, inconsiderable. Now you should be able to. Guess the answer and give me the answer. Let me see how many are going to give me the answer. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. It's pouring. It is right. Perfect. It should be worthwhile. Yes. Because you should be useful. Isn't it? So, other than worthwhile, all other words are opposite to lucrative. All right. See the next question. Invective. Invent. Expressive. Invitation. Abusive. All right. So, all right. Now, I think you must have guessed the exact synonym for this. Option three, abuse. Yes, yes. Good, 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 good students. It is not only uh, enough that you are going to give me the answer here. Please carry it in your mind. These are the words which are, you know, commonly spoken. So, you just carry it in your mind. Remember it. And while speaking, you can use these words. That is how we become uh, good in our speech also. Isn't it? Okay. All right. So uh, option three is right. See the next one. Accolade. All right. So silence, mediocrity, laurels, lowliness. So this accolade you, you should have uh, heard in schools, you know, especially when the uh, correspondent or the principals or uh, um, whoever is going to uh, 
give speech they are going they'll be using this word our students have brought a uh, many accolade to our school all right so now you must be able to guess the correct answer okay option 3 very good sai charan should be right antony sai vardhan yes 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 perfect so it is laurels so our students are bringing laurels you know whenever they win over any competition when they get score very good marks so then what do we say how do we uh, uh i mean represent them we say that they are bringing laurels to us isn't it yes perfect very good see the next question abetta so four options are given before i could say uh the meaning let me give me the meaning of everything accomplice means person who helps somebody to do something bad you know these people make them to do bad next is adversary which is enemy careless that you know then indolent means lazy all right so now you must have guessed the meaning of abetta right so um uh, another sentence an abetter is a very dangerous person all right yes let me see how many i want to yes option 1 option 1 many are giving me option 1 2 yes now option 1 is correct good yes it should be option 1 accomplice all right see the next question very simple always and now you should note they are asking us the antonym what do you mean by antonym the opposites so students when you are reading the question paper please show full attention to your question paper all right so when they are asking you synonyms you should write only meanings when they are asking you antonym you should write only opposite so uh, you should be very careful in seeing whether it is a meaning or an opposite all right yes now you have to choose the opposite always it's very simple word now let me see how many are giving me the answer yes many are saying option 1 no two ways about it it is never all right see the next one provide so that is also a commonly used word isn't it but uh, two words seems to be a uh, little challenging defy means refuse to obey somebody deceive you can say that make somebody believe which is not true isn't it so like telling him lies fine so now you tell me the antonym of provide let me see how many are going to give me the answer okay okay antony vishwanath sai charan faisal all right many many are giving me option 4 let's see yes it is option 4 deny so provide is give deny is no okay see the next question fortify all right so you would have seen this word in youtube uh, oftenly anyway uh, the meaning of undermine is you uh, somebody's confidence you want to put it when it comes down you know the meaning of strengthen intensify support now you give me the antonym of fortify so let me tell you it is undermine that should be the antonym all right see the next one misanthropist so what is the meaning of misanthropist is person who dislikes and avoid human society so now for this word you need to find out the opposite isn't it so four options are given pedant zealot uh, philanthropist then pragmatist so the difficult word in this is philanthropist is a rich person who is going to help poor so don't you think uh, uh, now you will be able to find out the opposite exactly isn't it pragmatist is dealing with problems in a practical way all right now let me see i really wanted to know how many are going to give me the exact yes yes many are saying three many says four all right yes let's see the answer is four excellent to those who have uh, opted for four as your answer it is philanthropist good see the next question abstain four options dismiss indulge disgrace repel all right so quickly give me your answers this doesn't require uh, any thank you nikhil this does not require any uh, time at all all right let's see many 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 are giving me 
Many options, one, three, two, all right. Let's see, it should be indulge, isn't it? Because that's the antonym. All right, see the next question. Unapproachable. So it's very simple, isn't it? Approachable means you can easily go ask that person. Unapproachable means you cannot go near him at all. So now you need to give me the antonym of that. All the other, all four words are very simple. So this does not require any explanation. Let me see. Yes, I'm very happy, over enjoyed. Everybody is giving me the right answer. Uh, I'm very sorry. I cannot read the names because the names are literally pouring and it is running. Good, good, good. So it is accessible option two. Good. Excellent students. See the next question. Pernicious. And even uh, for this, all four words are simple. Does not require any uh, meaning, at, uh, meaning at all. Wicked, hinder, kind, ignorant. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm very... Uh, what to say? Overjoyed. You all are giving me excellent answers. Of course, there are few deviations, but many are giving me option three. Let's see whether it is right. It is right. Pernicious is kind, which is the antonym. Perfect. Good. See the next question. Elusive. Four options. Deceptive. Mystery. Delusive. Factual. Right? So, elusive means something, you know, you uh, in the movie, all you would have seen. All uh, illusions which is not actual, okay? Now you give me the uh, antonym. Yes, many are saying option four. A uh, few says three. Manohar, you're right. Swapna, you're right. And many, all right, let's see. It is four, option four, factual. Very good. See the next one. Relationship, affinity, member, leaning, opposition, right? So relationship means what? You know, we are very close, isn't it? All relations, we we don't uh, leave each other, isn't it? So we become very close and uh, we, are, we are always supportive. So now give me the exact opposite of this. I'm sure you must be able to give me. Yes, yes, yes. The answers are pouring. Many are giving me the right answers except few. Anish, check your answers. Hi, Vardhan. Please check. Jessica, please check. All right. All right. Let's see. It should be opposition. Perfect. Yes. See the next one. Portly. So, four options. Formal, elegant, conventional, rough. Yes. So, portly means, you know, very uh, strict, very formal. Uh, something like that. So, that's the meaning. Now, give me the antonym. Okay. Many are saying option three. No, I'm afraid option three is not right. All right, let me disclose the option, the correct answer. It should be rough. All right, see, fine. Yes, now choose the most appropriate meaning of the given idiom or phrase. So far, we were seeing the meaning. So far, we were seeing the meaning of the words. Now, let us see the meaning of idiom or phrase. To go to somebody's head. All right. So, four options. Uh, quickly give me your answers in the chat box before I could finish reading it. To have a huge ego. To complain to the highest authority. To make someone dizzy or slightly drunk. To uh, arrive at the central point of the topic. So, I can give you a clue. Somebody's head. Isn't it? So, uh, some head means what? You feel uh, dizziness. Right? Of that kind. Yes. Let me disclose the answer. To make someone dizzy or slightly drunk. Yes. See the next question. To make amends. So, four options. To make new friends. To feel guilty for something you, you have not done. To compensate. To make flimsy excuses. Let's see how many are able to guess the correct answers. Okay. Sai Vardhan, you're right. Yogita, you're right. Excellent. Hanish, check your answer. Well, Akhil, you're right. All right. Fine. It should be to compensate. All right. Yes. Good. Excellent to those who have given me the right answer. See the next one. Chicken out. So, four options. To refuse to do something due to fear. To influence. To seek all enjoyments of life. To obtain fame by hard work. Yes. So, the correct one is to refuse to do something due to fear. Yes, perfect. See, these are all idioms to uh, 
to some or to few we are we can be uh, you know we can give you the exact meaning or we can tell you how this is framed but for many it can be meanings cannot be uh, expressed because it is something which is fixed it's a phrase all right see the next one up it up four options be continually reminded of an unpleasant topic enjoying in a noisy way usually in a group be totally ignorant or incompetent used as an uh, exhortation to overcome or be rid of something let me see how many are giving me answer for this jessica says two gayatri says one how how about others all right okay yogita sai vardhan okay fine 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 let's see the answer it is option 2 enjoying in a noisy way you uh, usually in a group all right see the next one with a vengeance a complete disaster you all must be knowing the meaning of vengeance isn't it right yes uh, keeping something in mind and you don't uh, do the uh, i mean you don't like the person so you always try to take a revenge isn't it yes see the second option having similar views or attitude to do something to look out for something without particular attention used to emphasize the uh, degree to which some things occur yes let me see uh, how many are going to give me the answer sai vardhan sandhya gayatri okay so there's a mixed answer that i'm getting many says option 4 good some says of option 3 yes anyway the answer is option 4 used to emphasize the a uh, degree to which some things occur see the next one up against the wall four options to take care of themselves and their own interests and safety in a disorderly fashion in an inextricable situation fourth option is performing well in a difficult or a competitive situation all right so let's see the answer for this in an inextricable situation or let's see the next one wild and woolly so four option uncouth in appearance or behavior either too much of something or too little near to perfection ignoring all obligations all right let's see uh, whether anybody is able to understand and give me the answer for this okay sai vardhan sai charan jessica many says option 4 let's see it is option 1 uncouth in appearance or behavior see the next one where where the green willow Uh, all right so four options to do something for someone as an act of kindness second one is suffer unrequited love for someone to be very frightened producing a lavish celebrating feast all right so let me give you the answer for the suffer unrequited love all right students see the next one you may go now so this is very simple i'm sure you all must be enjoying this you may go now the sentence can be can it be used to take permission to give permission or to make an offer or to make a request very simple doesn't require any uh, explanation at all so what sort of sentence is this yes jessica you're right sarvesh you're right uh, how about others gayatri you're right akshaya you're right yes it is to give permission all right see the next one i feel home is a better place to relax so the above sentence expresses agreement opinion prediction refusal so it should be our opinion isn't it so my opinion is to uh, i feel relaxed when i go home all right see the next one your friend wishes to meet you but you are engaged with some other work how do you express your inability very simple by all means you may go now i'm afraid i mean i'm afraid i cannot make it i'm not your friend <laughs> okay so let me see how many are going to give me the answer for this the chat box is open option 2 perfect very good none other than option 2 good i am afraid i cannot make it yes good see the next one your uncle gave you permission to use his pipe how do you express your happiness i am very sorry it's very dirty your bike is awesome or it is so kind of you i'm sure you would get confused between option 2 and 4 let me see how many are going to give me the correct option okay 3 4 
Okay. There's a mixed answer that I'm getting. It is so kind of you because permission, giving permission means what? You're getting permission from somebody. So unless an uncle, they are too good. You know, they are so kind. Otherwise, you cannot get the permission, isn't it? So just remember this. See the next one. He received the proportion of his dash from selling tamarind seeds. Choose a suitable word that fits in the blank. Is it wages, salary, income, labor? All right. It should be income because wages is something you work in a factory or you uh, work in construction. All right. So salary is something if you are working in an office or a school, you get. Labor is also like construction work. So you are selling something, you are getting something means it should be income. All right. See the next one. The minister decided to visit the dash and extend his support. So now choose a suitable uh, hyphenated compound word. All right. So is it newly constructed house? Is it well-educated people? Or is it pebble stone road or flood hit villages? All right. Let's see. It is flood hit villages. All right, so the minister is visiting the place, the village, where it is fully flooded. And he says, definitely, I'll support you, people. All right, see the next one. A person who's unpleasant and tries to offend the people is a dash. So is he an extrovert? Is he a placid? Or is he a obnoxious? Or is he a suave? All right, so you need to know. Uh, who's unpleasant and tries to offend people is none other than obnoxious. All right, see the next one. I don't want to give way for unnecessary matters. So give way. What is the right meaning of the underlined one? So it should be allow. So I cannot allow, you know, unnecessary matters. Isn't it? All right, see the next one. A person with knowledge and reasoning is a or an dash. A person with knowledge and a reasoning is supposed to be who? It, he should be an expert, isn't it? Yes, see the next one. The judge advised the disputing parties to settle through discussion. Replace underlined word with a word that has the same meaning. So discussion means, can we say, is it a negotiation? Or is it a vegetation? Is it a rehabilitation? Or is it a degradation? So it is negotiation. Why negotiation? I can give you... Uh, I can explain you this. When the judge is talking to both the parties, now both the parties are fighting, isn't it? So now one has to come down, the other one has to convince. So both of them has to come to a win-win situation. Both of them has to accept. So it is negotiate. Understood? Yes. See the next one. The greatest work of Satyajit Ray was uh, uh, APN's trilogy. So, replace the underlined word that is the greatest work with the same meaning. Is it verbatim or alma mater or it is uh, lingua franca or is it magnum opus? All right. So, everything, you know, requires a phrase. So, here the greatest work you can say it is a magnum opus. See the next one. Pick out the word that ended with a suffix. Is it discontent? Is it a conviction? Is it a bicycle? Or is it a diameter? So, suffix is conviction. All right. See the next one. Oh, I call it a double-faced behavior. What is underlined word? Double-faced means what? Is it a compound adjective? Or is it a prepositional phrase? Or is it a noun? Or is it an adjective? So, double-faced is a compound adjective. All right. So, quickly note down, students. These are all, uh, you know, um, an extension of grammar words. So you need to know all this. See the next one. Father's face lit up with contentment. Content means what? I'm very happy with what I have. Is That is contentment. So what is the antonym? So it's not synonym. Synonym is meaning your antonym is opposite. Is it satisfaction? Is it happiness? Is it displeasure or is it commitment? It should be displeasure. All right. See the next one. You can certainly do it. So, the word can in the above sentence indicates what? Ability, compulsion, interference or obligation. So, this is very simple. Let me see the chat box. I'm giving you a few seconds. Many says option one, yes. Manohar, Gayatri, Khalifa, Swapna, Akshaya. 
Sai Vardhan, Yogita. Very good, very good, very good. Many says option one C. Yes, it is. What do you mean by can? Ability. You have ability to do it, isn't it? See the next one. The film industry is expanding in leaps and bounds. So what kind of expression is it? Is it a compound adjective? Is it a binomial? Is it a bilingual? Or is it a compound phase? It is a binomial. Or let's see the next one. Many great artists paid tribute to Mahanati Savitri. Right? So what is the parts of speech of the underlined word? Right? So is it a verb, preposition, adjective, or a noun? It is a noun. All right. Yes. Fine. Uh, all right, students. So I'm sure you all would have taken now the meaning of each and every word that was displayed uh, here in the PPT. So please go through it. Always revise it because meanings, antonyms and synonyms are very important. And uh, especially when it comes to a competitive exam. All right. Yes. So thank you so much for your patience. And uh, please do read every day. And uh, you have any doubt, please contact us at our uh, WhatsApp number 964221-5226 and 5227. And take up your daily test every day. Yes. Thank you, Gayatri. Thank you, students. Over to you, Chandrika, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, students, I hope all of you have understood, understood today's class. And don't forget to write the practice test tomorrow. And another thing I want to remind is, again, the career guidance form has been sent in the group. Career guidance form, group la malli sent che saru. Dhani fill che yandhi. Everate fill che yandhi. Dhani fill che yandhi. Ok, vela ever kanna raka po te 964 one five double two six number ki WhatsApp chain nine six four double two one five double two six number ki WhatsApp chest the Miku Mali form kawal and name and a doubt sunna kani dan nunchi miku reply ostundi. You have to message to that number nine six four double two one five double two six. And tomorrow you will be having a trigonometry class. And tomorrow you will be having a trigonometry class. So be prepared with the formulas. And also keep a book and a pen while class is going on. Okay. So, personal ga ever ki WhatsApp chayaru. So, whoever want the link, message to 964 number ki WhatsApp chayandi. Mi kema na doubt sunte a number ki WhatsApp chayandi. And whoever is not there in group, okay, well, ever in a group, lo lake apote gula, a number ki message chest, the mimali group lo add chest taru. Career guidance form kuda ever kana raka pote. So 964-221-5226 number ki WhatsApp chest, they will send, we will be sending career guidance form. 964-221-5226. Yes, please note down 964-221-5226. And also, students, if any one of you are disturbing, if you are disturbed the class, we will immediately remove you from the class. So, if you are a student, remove you. In the same way, if suppose you have a personal message, don't encourage, immediately inform to the mentors, okay? Immediately inform to the teachers, right? Yes, tomorrow again, we will meet at 7.30. 7.30 p.m. again. So, please join by 7.25. Bye, everyone.